Hello, this is Keith Hall, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we could create um, and make and save custom layer styles in Photoshop. Now, on the screen, I just uh, created something. We're going to create a different layer style, but I just want to show you how you could create your layer styles as they want and then save them for later so you could easily apply it to your text, to your re rectangles or anything else. So uh, we're going to open up a new document. And we're just going to create some text initially. And let's just use this one. It doesn't really matter what font you use. But as I have it in white, so I'm going to change it initially to black so we could see it. Now I'm just going to increase the size. All I'm doing is Control T to transform it, Shift Alt and click. Oh, just a second, let me put that back there. Okay, press enter. So at this po uh, point, where I'm just going to randomly style it with different uh, style things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, give it a stroke. Let's uh, um, just choose anything here. Let's bring this down just a bit. Okay, now let's give it a, let's say, bevel and emboss. I'm just going to accept these defaults for right now. Uh, let's say, let's, we'll leave the text as is. Let's add a drop shadow. And let's give it a black. Click OK. Let's change the size of it. Or actually the distance. Let's do that. Okay, we could also give it, uh, let's see, let's see what an inner shadow will do. Let's just do that. Let's just say this is the layer style that we want for whatever reason. Um, now, to save this layer style, let's go back into this um, layer style dialog box. And see over here on the right, it says new style. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to save it. And then let's, I'm just going to call this test. And then click OK. You could select these options if you want. It's up to you. But let's just uh, click OK. And then click OK. Now, in order to retrieve your layer style, um, if you go up to Window, and then select styles right here, which I already have selected, as you can see. Just do that, and it appears over here in a tab. Now that style I just saved should appear in this list, and it should be uh, appended to the last one, which it does. It says test right there. So now let's say you want to create new text or add a rectangle. So here I'm going to add a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a rectangle, and then it does that. Now, let's say I want to apply the same layer style to this rectangle. All I have to do is come up here to here, select that, and it gives that same layer style to whatever layer that you're on. 
So this is a, one way that you could create and save layer styles for later use in your future projects that you can apply to text or to your own um, uh, rectangles or objects or anything else like that. So hopefully this gave you an idea on how you can um, create layer styles for one and then save them for later on. Even if you double click, uh, let's double click on this again. Let's bring this up and um, let's see. Uh, no, it just, I thought there was a different area where you can access it. But anyways, uh, that's how you can, um, again, create your layer style and save it for later on, for later use. Uh, because it, you may create uh, different projects, but you always want to use the same layer style, uh, same types of effects, whether it be a gradient, whether it be a color overlay, or a drop shadow, or a stroke, or anything else. So thanks for stopping by today. Hopefully today um, was uh, uh, impactful for you uh, with your current projects. And uh, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification so you always get updated when, you have, when I have a new video ready. And of course, please like, share, and comment. I'd appreciate it very much. And I, uh, I'm extremely grateful for your support on my channel. Thanks again, and you have a great day. Bye now.